What do you what's say to the people? Up? What's up? We're saying what's up to the people. Hello, people. Um, we're here to uh, talk about the things that we got at Comic Con. What did we get at Comic Con, Tully? We got a lot of stuff. What all did we get? Talk up, speak up. We got a lot of packs. Not a lot of packs. How many packs did we get? We all only got three, but it was the new set, so we just had to get them. We got the new set from where? Where are these from? Comic Con. From Comic Con, but they're from Japan. Mm -hmm. um, give me just a second and here. And those are the what new. Are they? What are they called? EV what? EV Heroes Pack. That's right, the Eevee's he Eevee Heroes Booster Packs. And we got three of them we're going to open right here live with you guys today. Um, give me just a second here. We're just getting stuff posted in our promo places. Um, but yeah, uh, show him the stuffy that you got, Tully. He got him a stuffy, too. A very special stuffy. Tell him. Tell him. Wait. Oh, snap. It's... What is it? Umbreon. What kind of an Umbreon? Shiny Umbreon. Shiny Umbreon. Oh. We're, we were very excited to get a hold of this. Uh, we went looking for their stuffies, and we found a shiny stuffy, and it made us very shiny happy. Yeah, when we, we were the first people in, and when we went back for the shinies, all the shinies were gone except for uh, one more, one shiny Gyarados was all that was left. Everybody had and bought uh, every single shiny. Crocodile. Yeah, Oh, yeah, a crocodile. I found a shiny crocodile, which and was really cool. we were looking for the shiny Umbreon. Tell them the story. And we didn't find it, so. but another person found it and gave us gave it to us. I thought you guys came back and it, uh, someone was putting it back, weren't they? No. Um, we were looking for it and these two kids were there and we were like, hey, um, can you keep your eye out if you see a shiny Umbreon? And they were like, yeah, sure, no problem. And they walked around and sure enough, on the other side of where we were looking, there was one left. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Okay, that's awesome. We got the last one. The very last shiny Umbreon. So we finally added Everybody a shiny Everybody likes stuffy to it. This. So shout out to that kid. Yep, really shout out cool. to whatever that kid's name was. We got a couple of shout outs we're going to throw out today. Um, so be ready for that. We are going to open these uh, booster packs. And then we have... Uh, oh, your card. The card. What? The card for that. For this? Uh, we have a giant hot dog. We have a surprise that we're going to open up that was a mystery surprise. Um, and we're going to take a look and see what's inside of that. I think it's a giant hot dog. Giant hot dog? Mm hmm Giant hot dogs are delicious, are they not? They are delicious. Do you like giant hot dogs? I love giant hot dogs. Tully loves a giant I hot dog. I ate one with you. You ate one with me? A uh, giant hot dog? Uh-huh. That Ooh. one that, I, that we ate. Uh, I got these cool-ass fucking things that I'm going to wear all the time. What do you guys think about those? Pretty neat. Uh, I don't know, baby. It was in one of the boxes. But, yes, this is the shiny Eevee. And I know it's a little dark here. We did it purposefully because of the lights. Uh, we got some other things that'll look a lot better to show you in the dark. I am going to turn on the lights for the EV, boost, EV Heroes booster packs. Uh, I'm just making sure that all the social media was sent, and it looks like we are. Um, all right, so There's these are the EV Heroes booster packs. Um, there are five cards in each pack. No, they're not. There's four. Well, there are five cards in each pack. Um, there are, uh, lots of really nice full art cards that are worth a good bit, and there are a couple of golden cards, there are some golden, uh, energies, there are some good full art evolutions, and we're on the lookout for special, our favorite, which one is it? 
Umbreon. Umbreon, a V Max card where he is on top of the tower. Uh, I don't have that graphic here. If uh, if I can, I'll try to get the graphic right here. If I don't, then I'm just pointing at nothing, and you know it is what it is. But this is the big play. So we're gonna get started real quick by opening up the first booster pack. So uh, we're going to get that done. Now there's a card trick to it. Uh, you get one to the front. You get one to the front. Off Instead of, the of three or four. And we're going to try not to destroy these packs because I wanted to keep at least one of the pack arts available for me to, uh, to uh, play with here. And uh, so each one of them comes with uh, a, a game. little game. Yeah. So that's cool. And uh, then the card trick is one to the front, and then uh, we're going to uh, take a look and see what we got. We got the heart. We got a heart. Uh-huh. All right. Oh, there's the Eevee looking up at the Rayquaza. Daddy was hoping we'd get this in one of these packs. There's a Swaddle. There's a man time. And oh, uh, man. Marsh Tomp. Not bad, not bad. Not I got terrible. the Eevee ears. We did got the Eevee. You do have the Eevee ears on. Uh, we did get the Eevee card. I really like this card. It's got Rayquaza there. Uh, sorry about the focus. It's trying to focus on me. You got Rayquaza there flying in the background. That's a hint homage to the uh, uh, that sky set that is coming to... America next. Uh, all right, let's get uh, let's get into booster pack number two out of the three that we got. Do, do, do. That's we actually went there specifically hoping someone would have some uh, some EV heroes booster packs because they're so hard to get online right now. Um, oh my goodness! I was the one who found them. Tully did find them before any of us did. Um, so that card trick there. Um, there's that game game card. All of like them are the different. All, a lot of them are different. I think there's like five different ones or something like that. And then we're going to uh, I think flip there's these over. And uh, so we got the heart. This time we got the uh, the moon. And I saw the moon. All right. We got a Zoomeril. Pancham. Mm -hmm. And oh, oh this come guy. On. And there's one more card. What oh. could it be? Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Swampert. We got a foil Swampert. Not bad. Not a bad pull. I, I thought that was a um, one of the EVs. Card. It is a, um, the Japanese foils have a uh, was that foil the third border. Pack? Nope, that was the second. But uh, we did get our third first gets foil. Us luck. Yeah, that's right. Lucky number three. Maybe we'll pull one of the evolutions out of the pack. So uh, here we go, guys. Whew. You gotta put on the EV ears for good luck. Yeah, put on the EV ears for good luck. Let and the, the Umbreon. And, and the, the Umbreon, Umbreon, hold the Umbreon for good luck. What could it be? There's the game card there. It's a different game than we've seen <laughs> in the other two I'm so scared right now. All right, and then one card to the front. And here we go. So we got a Persian. Uh-huh. Audino, I think. Isn't that what it's name is? I don't know. I can't remember that one. Are you scared? I'm super scared. Alright. Oh, come on. And then one more card. One more. <laughs> You're my last chance. Another foil, but Aww. not an evolution. But it's okay. We got two foil rares out of three packs. That's not bad. Uh, there's not even a guaranteed rare inside of the pack. So I'm happy and we'll be getting some more very soon. So you guys be on the lookout for that. This is just a little tease of what you guys will be seeing in the future. Um, so the two pulls that we got there on our rares, rare foils, we got the Swampert, and I don't remember this one's name, so uh, if you guys could help me out there in the comment section. Um, but yeah, so two foil rares, that's awesome, Tully. 
I'm excited. And now it makes me want to get some more. Daddy will may not have a box the next time you get over here. All right, so we're going to put that to the side. Tully, if you don't mind, we're going to move on along and we're going to get Mom over here to talk about all the stuff we got, okay? Mm -hmm. I love you. Wait, um, can I get um, my brownie to eat? Yes, it's over there on the couch. He got a nice brownie to eat. All right, Mom, the com... The comics, um, something's not right here, Can I come out on one side, anyways, sorry, I know that's probably loud, me messing with the mic like that, um, I'm gonna put this, like, right here, for both of us, oh, she got, uh, so her big purchase was a, a hoodie from Demon Slayer with a nice embroidered uh, Demon Slayer logo on it. And then if you turn it around, get in your chair. Oh, yeah. And it's got like a print of just his eyes on there. And it's really cool. And then the split rock. It's just really beautiful. Um, but, yeah, that's what she got. That was her big purchase. Um, Very comfy. I got these bad boys, uh, which match the uh, first uh, legendary item that they had in Knockout, or one of the first legendary items in Knockout City uh, that you could put as a character customization item. And then I also got a backpack. Not just any old backpack. Probably the best backpack. <sighs> Fully customizable. Oh yeah, you see it. It's wonderful. Immediately stuck my logo on it and started walking around the place. Uh, we did see one kid who was using it rather nicely. Uh, he posted his Snapchat and then said, uh, uh, anal, question uh, mark, just let me know, hit me up on Snapchat. Uh, so he got straight to the point, but it's fully customizable with gifts. There was another guy walking around with one that had, like, uh, Dragon Ball Z gifts of fucking Goku going Super Saiyan and shit like that on it. And I actually met up with him, and he followed the uh, channel while we were there. He's actually a Twitch streamer himself. Uh, go check him out. That's GamerDad731. Uh, we got some pictures we'll be seven posting. One, three. 731. Oh. Um, so, uh, yeah, appreciate that follow, GamerDad, and uh, hopefully we'll be uh, talking soon, man. I'm going to hit you up on your discords. So, uh, yeah, man. Uh, I was really excited with that purchase. It's also a laptop bag, which is really cool. Uh, and you can charge your phone through it, which is even cooler. Um, but yeah, that was a pretty fucking cool thing that we got. Twelve dollar kitten ears. Twelve ears. You can't beat up twelve dollars, man. Uh, what else did we get? What are you looking at the boy for? <laughs> um. Oh yeah, the comics. Where are the comics? They are right over here. They are. All right. There should have been, uh, there should be some information on them sitting right there in front of you, Colby. No, it was like a, there, there's like a little, like a little card or something like that sitting over there, or was, that had information on the comic. Is it sitting over where the comic was? No. Huh? Oh, oh, I stuck the sticker on my wall. Where did I put the card? No, that's the sticker. There's a card as well, like a business card. I'm upset. I had it. Oh, uh, we also found out about the Mississippi Gamers Society. Um, and their uh, social media is down here. You can find them on Facebook. Uh, we'll get that posted as well in here soon. Um, they have a YouTube, a Discord, Instagram, Facebook merch store uh they're really trying to get uh, a community of gamers in mississippi together and as a mississippian you know i'm all about that shit so uh uh mississippi gamers uh society um i like the name now i really want to talk about voodoo maverick publishing um i'm really excited to read these um he said that after hurricane katrina he lost all of the artwork for his first two uh novels um 
and uh, he got them all back together with more picture, more to the story and everything like that. I got him to sign these, of course. This is number one and number two. But the comic book series caught my eye, the name of it, The Forces of Evil versus the Third Grade. And here she is wearing one of the... Uh, one of his shirts which we actually got for free to uh be able to come out here for you guys and uh vibe his shit out uh but yeah dude like we're really excited to get to read this um it's uh so i'm gonna read a synopsis off of the rear of the first copy and it says Mathilda is the firstborn child of Lucifer and the leader of Hell's armies, destined to lead the final assault against heaven and destroy all of creation. She sells her soul to God in order to get out of Hell. However, there's a catch. She must stop her father, learn what it means to be human, and pass the third grade or go back to Hell and face the music. And it's not going to be easy. With an alcoholic guardian angel advising her, a demon in the form of a stuffed panda bear trying to stop her, and everyone in hell on the hunt to bring her back to face the wrath of dad, Mathilda's clearly got her work cut out for her. Mathilda's story starts here. I am also thrilled to read this, man. I am excited, and, uh, man... Uh, Voodoo Maverick Publishing, it's, man, I'm, you guys have no idea. Ted M. Wally, this is number two and number one. He's in the midst of number three. You guys can find him on uh, Webtoon. You can find him on Facebook. He's, he's all over the place. He's branded, man. Uh, and I am absolutely thrilled to get to read some of what he's got going on here. So, um uh moxie um let's you lost the card oh no i don't remember what the place was uh well we lost in the car all right so we lost the card to where we got this at and i apologize because we always love giving credit to the people who uh who do the work that we get um but yeah uh, Moxie, I'll let you open this. Um, it was a random gift, so um, I picked it out. She picked it out, and uh, it was fifteen bucks, and you got three Here's random items. Posters. Oh, posters! They uh, they are posters. Okay, I wasn't sure. And she said that some of them possibly could be lewds, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna open them facing me first. <laughs> and make sure that they are visible for the Twitch stream. Ooh wee. Let us see. I love the packaging too. Little white heart. Oh, these things change color too. Like that's white. Okay. Are they still covered up too? Buy a piece of white. Oh, snap. So it's really... What if it's just three pieces of white paper? <laughs> I'm going back. I'm fighting her. I've never hit a woman before, but I'll fight a woman that sells me three pieces of cardboard for $15. I highly doubt Is he? Hell yeah, dude. That's what's up. We're about to find out what is inside of this. More white paper. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. All right, all right. I'm really excited for this, man. I love random mystery stuff. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Okay, not bad. Ooh, that's really pretty. Oh, I know who sh we should give that to. I think she would know, too, if she saw it. Yeah, I know who exactly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's definitely a gift to give away there. I really like that one. Here, I'm going to hold this up a little bit closer for you guys to see. This is the first print that we got out of the random. And uh, Lil Sunflower, if you're watching this, uh, you need to come pick this up. This is for you. That's awesome. Oh, I love the third one. Oh, my goodness. This one's pretty, though, too. This is our second print. They're all very pretty. Little waifus. Little waifus. Hey, at least they ain't lewd. And 
last but not least, waifu number three, little angel. <laughs> I wish they would have put. Oh, oh I love her. I love how they got her arm crossed like that, like all shy, like. Mm -hmm. She's cute. Little angel. They're I both wish. angels. I yeah. like that. They they went with a theme. A theme. But this one right here. That one's just gorgeous. That kind of actually even looks like her a little bit. Like, mm -hmm. you know. This is. This is so, Sunflower, um, uh, as, you know, show of love for the, all the support you've put to the channel, um, we really want to uh, get this out to you. So, uh, if you ha are not watching right now, um, or you see it later, uh, you'll know that you have yourself a gift over here waiting on you. Um, but yeah, that's a that's about all we got from the Comic Con, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, uh, Colby got something cool though. Uh, hop up real quick, babe. Let's co let Colby come in here and show off what he got. I'm really like jealous because I had I had plans of getting someone to sign some stuff, but then I lost it in the middle of the con, and it was quite upsetting. Um, now, Colby, uh, what's one of your favorite? Uh, what's your favorite series like of, of all time? One of my favorite uh, series to watch all time is Star Wars. Um, growing up, Star Wars was a huge thing for me. Uh, it kept, got me through a lot of tough times. Uh, and today, I got we had we got really lucky. Um, we got to meet the guy who voices General Grievous and his uh, the battle droids in Star Wars: The Clone Wars and in Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith. Um, super cool dude, Matthew Wood. Super du super cool dude. Um, I love it. Uh, we got along. We spoke, you know, we talked Star Wars lines, you know. Talked about how he got, uh, how he was able to uh, voice General Grievous and voice... Um, the battle droids. That was cool. <laughs> yeah. uh, he talked about how um, uh, him and George wanted to change up uh, the view of the battle droid in uh, the Clone Wars. Uh, and, um, yeah, that's why the battle droids are so dumb in the Clone Wars. But, yeah, he was a super cool dude. I'm really, really happy I got to meet him. Uh, it was a real dream come true to meet somebody for, uh, that came from the Lucasfilm, whatever you know it is now. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> you are a bold one. You are a bold <laughs> one. You are a bold one. Um, I did get to meet someone that I have like wanted to meet, like at least one of the guys from the crew that I wanted to meet mine like forever. Like I love these guys. Um. If you guys have ever seen the movie Super Troopers, um, one of the guys from Super Troopers was there, the guy that plays Rabbit. And I actually got to talk to him, and the first question I asked him, I was like, so did you really get a boner when that girl was, like, kissing on your neck? And he was like, wouldn't you? And I was like, oh, hell yeah, she, some, she was hot as hell. And my man busted out laughing his ass off. And I was just like, I'm so happy I sat here and made a guy laugh that has been making me laugh for over 10 years from the same movie. And then, of course, there are other movies, uh, you know, with Beer Fest and stuff like that. But I just, I loved it. Like, I got there, got to sit there and have this laughing moment. Colby got to go meet someone that he's, like, dreamt of meeting up before. And it was just, it was a lot of fun. This Comic-Con was, uh, it was great. It was Colby's first Comic-Con. Oh, yeah. Uh, it was B Rad's first Comic Con, uh, and Tully. It was probably the first one he'll remember. <laughs> tell you what. But, uh, tell you what. Now our goal is to go to San Diego. San Diego Comic Con. Yeah. I want to. I want to go to one of the big ones soon. We need to take a blog out there. You know, that'll be a full on. That'll be some editing going on. But uh, you, uh, you guys see how these are they're changing, <laughs> like in like a loop now. Yeah. It's fucking cool, dude. Dude, I love it. These things are so cool. It's so cool. Uh, and I basically, like, in the purchase of this and the backpack from the same guy, I got him, like, uh, at, like a discount. So that's kind of the thing. What about the backpack? No, oh, I already showed off the backpack. But uh, we will show it off again since it does show off the channel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm going to set up that, that text to be scrolling across there. I just got to fix it. But, yeah, dude, we're all sorts of LED'd out, man. RGB everything, right? <laughs> yes. But, uh, yeah, man. Um, that was, it was a fun day. I it was a fun day. Like, good Comic-Con. It was the first event, like, back from all the bullshit, you know. Uh, COVID wasn't holding anybody back. We were out there just having a good time. So, yeah, man. Um, 
We'll be coming back at you guys with some more content like this soon on I Make Dead People TTV. <laughs> uh, I'm going to wear this around like everywhere I go, like just to, just to rep the channel and stuff like that, you know. Got to get the name out there. If they ain't seen it yet, they're going to see it soon. So, um, but yeah, man. Um, successful con. Um, the comics of cons, except for Sammy. Okay, pools out of the uh, EV Heroes booster packs that we got at the con. Uh, I'm not going to be upset. We got two nice portal cards. Um, but, uh, yeah, man, we're, uh, we're kind of just chilling for a little bit. We'll probably be on later tonight. We're going to uh, stream some uh, Dead by Daylight. Or not Dead by Daylight. <laughs> I'm thinking about Mr. Hatch's channel. Uh, Overwatch. Uh, shout out to Mr. Hatch there. Uh, but, uh, yeah, man, we're going to... Uh, we're gonna hang out and get a little bit of non-scream time for a little bit, and uh, and uh, just chill for a little while, enjoy family time, and we'll be back on to play in a little while. You guys be on the lookout for that, and uh, yeah, peace out, Girl Scouts and Boy peace Scouts out. or Scouts now. I think I, I don't think Boy or Girl Scouts exist, or I think it's all just Scouts now. I'm not sure. I, I, this is some weird news I don't know about. But anyways, uh, love you guys, and we'll see you guys in just a little bit. Peace out. Peace out.